welcome back so we have created this beautiful table for us in the previous lecture now let us say you need to prepare this table of data very often for that either you need to come to your data studio and write this query every single time or you can save it somewhere in your computer and then come back in data studio copy paste to get the result but there is a third an even better way which will serve for many other things as well and that option is to create this table as a view in your database so let me explain you i'm not saying that you are making this table a new table in your database you are making this table a view in your database this view will serve as a table in all your reporting requirements but it will not be a separate table in your database so if that is confusing don't worry i will just explain it to you again so let us first make it a view let us begin i would say create view and then give it a name let us say i would name it as my summary you can name it anything and then type as so create view the name as then the complete script that you have that will go in and then all you got to do is to press the run key and you can see that this command has been completed successfully now all you got to do when you go to your you know uh, new query all you got to do is to say select a star from my summary press f5 and you can see with one line of code you have your complete table just like you would refer any table you have referred this view and you can definitely apply all the additional commands that you would generally apply on tables so for example you can say where account key is equal to 121 press f5 you can see you got the result so you can now treat this view as your table in all the reportings that you need to do but first we have to create it and then this has been created by a single line of code that is create view the name of your view as this the beautiful thing about creating the view is it is not an extra table in your database there are only four tables that were already there and all the data will be input on those on the basis of that you can call it an ad hoc table that you have generated for your reports where you have done half of your work or complete report so i hope you have found this very easy and helpful